Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm Jay Nicholas. We're going to do another in our series of saltwater fly tying and fly fishing videos. Hey, I, I really am having fun doing this. Um, whole series, saltwater fly tying videos, uh, all kinds of flies. Um, blah, blah, blah. Let's enjoy this one. This is a Steve Ferrars Albacore Clouser. Albacore Clouser? Yep. Turns out the, the Clouser, you name your place and time to fish it, uh, or actually the place and time is anywhere, anytime. Uh, a little bit of hydro to lock those thread wraps in. These are big, the, these are like the ex, extra large hairline pseudo eyes. It's a 3 aught hook. Um, this is imitating it. Now, some of the albacore flies I fish are considerably smaller than, than this. Um, but this is going to be a big one. This is to get those albacore that are really feeling rambunctious and they want a big old, they're just going to just see this thing sink and then start to strip back up to the surface and they're going to just romp on it using Steve Ferrar blend. This is UV white for the belly of the fly. And as I have gotten into the habit of adding a little throat, it's really kind of fun. I honestly don't know. I frankly don't know if the fish care. But it's a nice little fly enhancer to put on a throat of this floral fiber. And when I'm thinking about how I do this, it goes on a little bit more. There have been some times, you know, sometimes you shoot a video and you know, why did I do it that way? Because it's about, it goes on about as awkward as possible. Anyway, that's the way it should go on, right like that. Save this for future use. So white belly. I'm going to use two colors for this fly. I'm going to use a purple, a bleeding purple. I'm also going to use some herring back. Again, this is fairly big fly. You do not need to reverse wrap this, because, principally because I have such a long surface to secure this material. It just does; it doesn't compress the way a uh, a bucktail would. Uh, so let me grab some. That, so that's bleeding purple SF blend, and now I'm going to grab some. UV herring back and it's this is a crinkly material it has texture it has glitter in it really nice stuff lay it on there As I'm going through this, I'm thinking, uh-oh, I forgot to put in my lateral flash. So let's see about adding that at this point. You know, in the real world, when you're tying a fly, sometimes it's the last, sometimes, sometimes you finish and then you go, oh, doggone it, where's my flash? So this, uh, uh, this flash, don't know if it's really needed or not. Where'd it go? Where, there it is. Well, I need to open another package of this stuff. Lasts forever, though. So, uh, how am I going to do this? I would normally have this as a layer in between. So let's tie it on as a lateral piece. 
put it on this side of the fly, get a couple wraps, and then I'm going to just put a dab of hydro right there to help stabilize that. Rotate my vise over. It's a little bit tricky. I'm going to lock this piece right in that other, the far corner. So here's a little drop of hydro to achieve that. And this is going to be about the right length just as it, as it stands. So I've chosen to use a white thread. Coho clausers get pink thread, Chinook clausers get white thread. No. Coho, pink. Chinook, chartreuse. Albacore, white. Rockfish, get everything. Important thing is for you to decide what color thread you want to use. You could use clear mono as well. That'd be pretty sharp. I've done that at times. You can see the colors of the materials right through the mono. So that hydro sinks right in. And it really locks it in. So here you have an Oregon albacore clouser that can be trolled. It can also be cast and stripped with success. Have fun. These are these are just a ball to work with, and we got more to come.